15 here in beautiful Portland, Oregon. Um, it's been really great sharing this city with everybody for the, for the past uh, nine, ten days or so. You know, um, we, we've got a lot of people to thank for pulling this off. Uh, when, when Patty and I first started talking about potentially hosting a DebConf here in Portland, uh, which was several, several years ago, my, my baseline requirement was that we would not even consider putting in a bid until we could first organize a piss up in a pub. <laughs> and uh, over the past couple of years, we've, we've succeeded in doing that. We've, we've uh, had, a, had a lot of, uh, lot of, lot of piss ups in a lot of pubs um, in the course of, of putting on this conference. Um, and uh, uh, so there's, there's been a great local team who's really come together for this. Um, and so, you know, in this closing session, we just want to thank everybody who's involved and and we want you to thank them as well so we'd like uh, first of all if you're part of the local team if you would come up here on stage and, and make yourselves known we'd like to, to thank you for your work on the conference that's Pietro Allison vagrant Tony come on up everyone Everybody take a bow. They didn't even rehearse that. <laughs> uh, I'd also like to thank the members of the, the local team who are not here up on stage with us today. Um, Case Cook and, and Kirsten Cook. I'm sorry, Kirsten Cook. Sorry, Kirsten. <laughs> um, Case uh, was really in charge of, of bringing the, the network together here this week, planning all the facilities work, um, and yet he he did most of this well. So he was he was in Portland up until about the week before the conference, then went to LinuxCon, came back after the setup was already in progress, um, and has again had to run off to another event this weekend. So uh, we, many thanks to him for all of his work. Um, he's been tag teaming with, with Matt Taggart on that, so Matt, you should also stand up as part of the, the local team. <laughs> Uh, and many thanks also to uh, Brian, Nick, and Brandon Murray, who were our day trip hike leads. Uh, they, they also can't hear, be here today, but they did an excellent job not losing anybody in the woods. So Patty didn't have to kill anybody for losing a person, or however that works. Um, there's a lot of other teams that have been involved in, in DebConf, both here during the conference and, and preparing for it remotely. Um, and we really want to acknowledge their contributions as well, which includes uh, the front desk team. So if you're in the front desk team, stand up. And come up here. And, and I've, been told, I, I've been told the front desk team, oh, okay, the front desk team will come up on stage. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we also have the, the visa and registration team. If you were part of the, the registration team, if you're not already on stage, which I think some of you are, um, Stand up, be recognized, and come up, and, and come up on stage. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the registration team this year has included both Natty and Patty, mm -hmm. and Kate. And and I, there are there are gestures indicating that Patty should move on to the. No, no, just the guy. Oh. Uh, people are hiding behind me. I don't know which ones. Um, a big thanks as well to, to Norman Garcia, who uh, wasn't here this year, but uh, helped out a lot with the with the visa and the registration stuff remotely. So uh, uh, many kudos to Norman and uh, to Giacomo Catanazzi, or Kate as he's better known, for all their work on that. Um, I'd also like to thank the DevComp chairs. We've, we have... Uh, 
one of them currently on stage, Moray. And uh, Tasia is is hiding in the audience. And where's uh, where's Teen Show? Yes. And I think people are going to have to start squishing a little bit on stage because uh, we'll see just exactly how big of a group effort this was by the, by the end of this talk. Um, uh, next up, I want to thank the bursaries team. I know there are some bursaries team members still in the audience, and they should stand up and be recognized for their work as well. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, we, we've had some interesting uh, BOF discussions this week. No, no, on stage, David. Come on. You too, Martin. Uh, but it's, uh, it's always a, an interesting process trying to figure out how to best allocate sponsorship money so that we can bring as many people as possible here. Um, and uh, they've done some great work. Uh, Felipe Van Wiel is, uh, is not here. He had to take off already, but um, kudos to him and to all the other members of the, the bursaries team who have been at DevConf this year and, and may not have come to DevConf but still helped us with that process. Uh, our bookkeeper is already on stage, Martin Kraft. Thanks for keeping... All those numbers straight. Our uh, admin team, of course, has to keep the, the lights on on the website and all the other technology that's required to, to get, the, the, get the conference off the ground. So Jörg Jaspert and, um, and all those folks. Um, Jörg is not here this, this week, but uh, kudos to him and uh, everybody else who, who worked on, on the admin side of things. And of course, a conference would be nothing without uh, talks to fill it. So we have a talks team, which includes uh, both folks who selected the talks, scheduled the talks, and dealt with all, all the ad hoc proposals. So if you're part of the talks team in any way, come on up. <laughs> uh, the website team as well, which is, um, I, I know a number of people have been involved in, in working on the website, including Allison, who's already on stage. We also have uh, Valesio, who helped us with some of that artwork. So Valesio has left already, but thanks to Valesio, as well as to uh, Leandro and uh, uh, Mato, um, I'm going to mangle his last name, Marjanovic, I believe is the name. Um, and he has not been here, but he's, he's also a member of the local team who helped us with, with artwork um, and designed the logo that uh, you see on all of our, our bags and t-shirts. So thanks to them. Um, next, let's thank the video team. Let's... let's uh, Yeah, if we can if we can point the cameras at the video team without uh, causing some sort of a causality loop here. <laughs> video team does mean anybody wearing a yellow shirt. If you're wearing a wearing a yellow shirt, please come forward and be recognized. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, the video team always does a great job at these things. We, we pose them an even more difficult challenge than, than in past years where we, in fact, had uh, three simultaneous rooms being, being videoed and, and broadcast where we traditionally have only had two. So they've, we're expanding our, our video work even more. Um, and these great volunteers have managed to keep up with that. And uh, it's, it's really tremendous work they, they do. And uh, we're very grateful for it. Um, and we will have some statistics on that a little bit later on in the slides. We should note that people actually took their place while they're up here. We had people actually fill in to take their place so they could come up. Here. Right. So despite despite asking the video team to be up here, we have more people who, as we pull the video team up, more people have backfilled at the cameras and the soundboard. <laughs>
which is exactly the kind of uh, can-do attitude we expect from Debian. Uh, as well, let's uh, also recognize uh, uh, Igars, is, I, who is. Let's, let's point the video camera at the guy with the other camera. Uh, our, our staff photographer, the official photographer of DevCom 14. And the last team I wanted to thank was the, the sponsorship team. I don't know if any of the, the uh, members of the, the sponsorship team are here in the... Um, oh, sorry. The video missed that. Yeah, so, so uh, um, I also want to thank the, the sponsorship team um, who did a tremendous job this year uh, raising money to put this conference on. Obviously, it wouldn't be possible without, uh, w without an awful lot of, of money and resources. And uh, if there's any member of the sponsorship team this year who helped with fundraising who's not already on stage, or if you are on stage, please stand up or wave your hand so that we know who you are. That's anybody who, who did anything talking to sponsors this year. Once again, thank you everyone for coming and I do hope to see you in Argentina. Um, I'll just leave you with this little tidbit uh, which will make Margaret feel 100% better I'm sure, which is uh, those who like sausages and dev comps should not look into the creation of either. Thank you very much. <laughs> again uh, but thanks to everyone who has come who has made this possible and we would like to see all of you next year in Spain in Cáceres, Extremadura in that case thank you everyone for attending and hope to see you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for attending. Front guests, talkmeisters, running around, graphics, video, everything. Talkmeister. So clearly more about like half the room is standing up. So it's quite clear that this would just not be possible without the um, help and uh, effort and care that everyone's given. So please, a huge, huge round of applause for everyone. Organized. Thank you for attending. Thank you. Au revoir. Au Wiedersehen. Arrivederci. Stabein. Goodbye. Die Lärm 
Kirche zieht, sie singt genau wie wir ein Lied. Alle Vöglein stimmen fröhlich ein, Wochenend und Sonnenschein. Kein Auto, keine Chaussee und niemand in unserer Nähe. Eine tiefe Brand, nur ich und du, der Herrgott tritt dein Auge zu. Schenkt uns ja zum glücklich sein, Wochenend und Sonnenschein. Nur sechs Tage sind dir Arbeit, doch am siebten Tag sollst du nun sprach dir Herrgott, doch wir haben noch am siebten Tag zu tun. So while Valesio did have to uh, take off, he did send us off with this little video, a reminder of, of years past, a reminder of everything we've done this week, and, and uh, hopefully some of that looks familiar, uh, if, you, <laughs> if you can remember back that far to three days ago. Uh, <laughs> A lot of memories have been made here, and a, and a lot of memories are still being processed. And, and uh, you know, the, if you saw up there, there's a lot of faces on those video, on those um, photos from past Deb comps that we see here today, up on stage and in the audience. And we also see a lot of new faces here today that, that weren't in those, and, and that's that's both of those things are really great to see. Um, so we've got a few few numbers for you about Deb comps, um, Deb comp 14 in particular. This is Deb comp 14. We had 309 attendees this year, which is great. 106 of whom were sponsored. We had nine days of events, 87 hours of which were recorded as video. Which is uh, 1,123 gigabytes of video files. There was only one trip to the emergency room this time. <laughs> Does that only happen when we have DevConf in the US? I'm not sure. <laughs> I am assured that it happens in other countries as well. <laughs> we, <t> we took 180 attendees on the day trip, and uh, we got 181 attendees back from the day trip. <laughs> We, we are not sure how that happened. $110 is the cost of the new pair of shoes Patty needed after she wore the old ones out during the conference running around. Uh, we served 1,927 cups of, of coffee and tea through the conference. Which, of course, is about right for fueling 87 hours worth of video. Uh, and we had 22 sponsors that we wanted to thank. <laughs> Starting first with our platinum sponsor, Intel. It's been really great having their support this year. Uh, of course, w this year DebCom 14 in Portland is in their backyard, so it was very great to have, have their support for, for DebCom 14. Uh, we also have a number of gold sponsors. Uh, Matanel. <laughs> Valve. It is okay to hold your applause until I go through all of them, by the way, if you prefer. <laughs> IBM. <laughs> Google. <laughs> HP. 
Uh, a new sponsor on the list this year was Dropbox. <laughs> and next are silver sponsors, which include uh, such well-known names around Debian as Catalyst. <laughs> Creditif. <laughs> Ubuntu slash Canonical. <laughs> Arm. Cumulus, and Jaguar Land Rover, as well as Univention. And finally, our bronze sponsors, Logilab, Galois, Platome, DigitalOcean, Citrix, Puppet Labs, Second Quadrant, and Bitnami, which I believe is the last one. I've heard. Uh, finally, a, th a thank you to our infrastructure sponsors who continue providing the support for uh, DebConf on the back end from year to year. Finally, just one, one last bit of statistics here that didn't make it into the slides, but uh, as part of the, the video work for this conference, we had 11 active international video relays over both IPv4 and IPv6, um, each of which pushed over 150 gigabytes of traffic this week. So DebConf, you know, we, we talk about how, how the video team is important to this because it, it really is. It's not just the people here in the room, but these videos are archived, they're watched live, and they're, they're streamed. Uh, all over the world during the conference, so that's uh, that's really great as well. Um, so now, without further ado, we hand it over to the DevComp 15 team. <laughs> and we release the rest of the DevComp 14 team from the stage. We already had a, a buff about DevCon 15, so this is going to be a very short summary for those of you who were not there and those of you who were there but were not paying attention. Uh, DevCon 15 next year is going to be in Heidelberg in Germany. We are very eagerly awaiting you. Heidelberg is a very beautiful city. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The old town is really, really nice. I, I really recommend it. Uh, it's easily reachable from the Frankfurt Airport just one hour train ride uh, and yeah so you are not going to have problems with public transportation there uh, we are going to have the conference in a youth hostel which is uh, everything will be in the same place one building all the conference rooms uh, we will have exclusive use of the building no external visitors we will have lots of different hack labs hack spaces meeting rooms a lot of adult sessions will be possible we will have a local bar where you will be able to buy lots of different types of uh, products that you will find in the bar. Um, there's also a disco and lots of musical instruments, so we expect lots of music next year. Um, we, uh, one of the things that has been increasingly a problem during DevComs is, uh, well, maybe not a problem, but an issue, is that uh, a lot of Debian developers have children and it's hard to leave their children behind and if they are here, like Manuel, uh, sometimes they are crying and the developers don't get to enjoy the conference. So we really want to uh, help with childcare. We don't have any set plan yet, but we really intend to help with that so that all Debian developers can attend. Um, Uh, 
and yeah, and and the people that run the hostel are really very nice with us. They really like us, so we expect to have a really great experience there. The dates have been announced. Uh, the conference itself is going to run from August 15th to August 22. Those are Saturdays, so from Saturday 15th to Saturday 22nd. Uh, we have the dates for DevCamp set with the hostel. We haven't yet finalized the exact format of the conference, but those dates are there if we want to have DevCamp. And we intend to have an open weekend for uh, people that are maybe not into DevConf, but might be interested in coming for the weekend uh, on the 15th and 16th. Uh, we have many ideas around the conference, uh, like, well, the opening weekend, and uh, workshops, hack time, uh, uh, taking into the, the ideas from this year, and also adding new ideas. Um, hmm. And we also want to hear your ideas, so if you have feedback of things that you think might be interesting to do and to try out, like ha having sprints, or uh, inviting interesting speakers, or any other ideas, we want to hear your feedback. Um, uh, we already have a website, it's very preliminary, but it's there. We have a local team IRC channel, but we expect most of the important orga things to go through the DevConf team channel. And the same for the list, we have a local team list, but we expect most of the uh, organization stuff to go through the team list. And so if you want to participate, we really uh, appreciate your help. Um, and last, uh, this DevConf has been great, so we want to thank uh, the organizers of DevConf 14 for having such a great DevConf, and we hope that next year can live up to such a high standard. We have one last thing to make it official of the handoff of DEPCOM 14 to DEPCOM 15. Marga, I present you with Poietos. <laughs> oh! Who is a chicken? With that, the DEPCOM 14 the DEVCOM 14 team's duties are officially concluded with the exception of just a few more quick announcements regarding the closing. <laughs> no, no, the final report is your job. <laughs> Our ceremonial duties, shall I say. Um, just a few quick things. Any feedback at all about the conference? Uh, we do have an, an email address set up, feedback at devconf.org. Uh, so any, any feedback you have about how this conference has gone, we'd like to know, good, bad, uh, or otherwise. Um, this building closes at 6 p.m. today, and so we are wrapping up in this room immediately after this, this closing talk. And the Hack Labs, uh, I don't know the current status of those, if those are already being torn down, but the rooms will be available uh, until 6 p.m., but you may or may not have anywhere to plug in uh, either Ethernet or uh, power, so just be aware of that. Um, finally, the front desk is going to be open after this talk until about 5 p.m., and you can buy water bottles there if you didn't get enough of these Debian-branded water bottles and you'd like to take a, a few more home. Uh, those are still available for sale. This is what they look like. You should already have one. Uh, and as well, we still have leftover water from the... the uh, uh, day trip that's bottled water, so if you, anybody wants to take one or, or more of those, uh, I believe they are in the back of the room um, by the recycling bins. So feel free to help yourselves to those so that we don't have to carry all of that home. Um, and let's see, so if you want to recycle your lanyards, we, are, we also have a place at the front desk where you can recycle those. You, you are, of course, welcome to keep those as souvenirs. Um, if you have your fill of lanyards from other conferences and are not interested in carrying it with you, um, we're happy to take those back and we will reuse those um, in future years. And I think that's it, other than I have to say something here about seeing you next year.
So we'll see you next year in Heidelberg. Okay, that's enough. Go hack.